Today I decided to start painting uh, one of the spare Tipman A5 bodies. Uh, I bought a conversion kit, so with the conversion kit you get a new body for the A5. So this is the old body, so what I've decided to do is do my own custom paint job. So I've almost got it all sanded down. You use 220 grit sandpaper. Uh, once I get this uh, completely sanded, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a primer. I'm going to spray paint it and let it dry. And then I have four colors of camel paint. And what they recommend you do is use your lightest color first. So you spray the entire body off your uh, A5. And then you would add uh, pieces of tape, whatever kind of design you want. Um, it could be any type of design. So you put your tape on after it dries with your lightest color. Then you completely spray paint it with your, with your next lightest color. And then you add more tape wherever you want uh, more designs to be on your body. And once that's done, you go to your next paint, your next lightest color, right to your darkest. And each time you add more uh, tape strips. And once you put on your final coat, which for me is going to be black, then I would remove each paint, each uh, piece of tape. And then you would be able to see the design. So I'm going to show you step by step. So this would be the first step is to completely sand down. I haven't started this side of the body. Completely sand down your A5 body with 220 grit sandpaper. Once I have that done, then I'm going to go and show you the next step uh, with uh, primer. So once you have the uh, body of the A5 sanded down, you turn it over in the internals. You make sure it's well taped. You don't want to get any paint inside the uh, in the gun, so make sure she's well taped up. And now I'm going to start doing the uh, first coat of primer. This is the next step. Once you have the inside of the body taped, what you can do, you can place it in a box or in a well ventilated area. And you could hang it, it's the best thing to do, and then you spray paint it with your primer. You can get different colors of primer, you can get gray, but I used white. So I got a very light coat of white primer. So once this is dry, I'm going to give it a second coat of primer. And then when the second coat dries, then I'm going to start with the camel paint. So once everything is dried, I'll go to the next step and show you a video of the first coat of the camel paint. So I got the beige all painted, second coat. And what I got done, I got the... Uh, tape stickers put on to the bodies of the A5. So now I'm going to give it a coat off the green and you leave the stickers on. And once the green is dried then you place more stickers on the bodies. Okay I have the brown coat onto the uh, A5 body. As you can see you can see different pieces of tape that have been painted over. This is the new one. So this is the last coat that I'm putting on, which is the black coat. So you can see the different uh, layers of the tape. So we'll see what the final results are in a few minutes. Final coat is on the bodies. Final coat is black. So once this dries, I'm going to take off all the stickers and uh, we'll see if it was a waste of time or if it actually uh, turned out good. This is the final product. Turned out great. Looks really good. Really impressed with it.